sometimes you find the right spot for the right shot, you get the rider coming along, you get the right bit of action and you zoom out at the wrong time. Most dismounts, uh, or anything but graceful. This uh, recluse equipped KTM 300 looked like he was going to take line honours and be the first one to crest the hill, but uh, with inside of the top, he just ran out of stone. This Husserberg 390 rider, he must have had about 37 and a half attempts to get up the hill. Each time usually he'd make it a little bit further than the time before, but it wasn't going to beat him, he kept at it. This fellow got part way up and then decided, no, I think I'll go back down again. Here's the 390 having another attempt. Not going to beat him. It's not going to beat him. It beat him. That's as far as you wanted to go, wasn't it? Hey. That's as far as you wanted to go, wasn't it? <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's what they reckon. That's what he was doing. Uh, old mate on the 390 is taking his backpack off this time. It's got him a bit further up the hill, but uh, still not to the top. So, back down for another run. It's not going to beat him. And this is how you do it. Nice, smooth, clean run. Going well, looking good. And, yep, he's going to do it. He's passed the tricky bit. He's at the top, and he's over. That's our first uh, successful attempt. Here comes another one, following in his footsteps. Uh, he finds it so easy, he decides to turn around and... Oh, I'm going to go and have another go at that. Shit easy. I'm starting to think this fellow on the 390 is uh, just likes to perform for the camera. What do the rest of you reckon? He's uh, certainly having more than his fair share of runs up the hill. And here we go, yeah, look at that lovely piece for the camera, that pure class. Well, some blokes try and hide when they see a camera. They don't like getting their photo taken. Other blokes, when they see a camera, this is my chance for fame and fortune. They stop right in front of you. Did you get that? Did you get that? I'm on the photo. 
And then there's the other blokes that just sail up there and camera? What camera? I didn't see any bloke with a camera. comes our mate on a Hasselberg again. I'm starting to think this bloke's a bit of a show pony. Watch this, again, right in front of the camera. Watching, and here he goes, look at that, perfectly executed, spectacular, no damage to the bike, no damage to himself, well done. This bloke gets spat off line, heads across to what he thinks is a safe escape route and then realises there's a, about a metre and a half vertical drop right in front of him. Watch the back wheel, you get an idea how close he goes to the edge as the back wheel drops over. Uh, just about now it's going to go, there you go. That's how close he went to going over the edge. Right, here we have a situation where the bloke on the Yamaha wants to roost his mate behind on the KTM, has a look to see how much mud he's covered him with, then he realises that he's hitting the rev limiter, it's the simple fact that he's in neutral, that's why his mate's not getting any roost, finds the gear, gets out of it, leaves his mate behind in the slop, what are friends for? Here comes another fella, will I, won't I, will I, won't I? No, one bloke goes around, what a blouse. Second bloke goes around, and they call themselves dirt riders. Here's a real hairy chested bloke, into the slop he goes, look at that. Plows through it. Not a problem at all. Gets caught up on a bit of a rock, a bit of a log there, something. But at least he had a go. That's why it's called dirt bikes. Clubby to the rescue, and he's through. The Blackberry Tunnel of Death wasn't as hard as it looked. It was sloppy, but there was drive underneath all the bloop. As you can watch this black here come through, nice clean run, falls over. Gets up again, some more blouses in the background going round it. But this bloke can call himself a dirt rider. And that's it. That's the end of our little clip. Thanks again to the DSMRA for putting on a great ride. See you all again there in 2011. And of course the bloke that enjoyed the ride the most had to be Ben Morass, seen here with his new, brand new WR450 Yamaha that he won on the day.